A pamonha é mexicana, a picanha é argentina, segundo nossos gringos poderia ser. Hoje, no quadro Reza um Gringa, os coitadinhos gringos tentam distinguir entre pratos brasileiros e pratos do resto do mundo. E aí, pessoal, é quase o 4 de julho, dia de independência dos Estados Unidos. E quem não lembra essa frase famosa da Declaração de Independência, publicada por primeira vez no 4 de julho de 1776. E essa frase muito famosa, todos os homens são criados iguais, dotados pelo Criador de certos direitos inalienáveis, que entre estes são vida, liberdade e uma aula de graça de inglês com o Cambly. Bom, eu não sei se é exatamente essa frase, mas eu sei que todo mundo tem direito a uma aula de graça de inglês com professores falantes nativos 24 horas por dia, 7 dias por semana. Se você não provou Cambly ainda, é a hora. E ainda melhor, até o dia 5 de julho, o Cambly está oferecendo 60% de desconto nos planos anuais. Eu garanto que essa oferta não existe no século 18 provavelmente porque a internet era muito, muito lenta naquela época. Para mais detalhes ou para acessar essa aula de graça ou esses descontos, é só usar o link na descrição ou na bio, ou entrar no Cambly pelo celular ou pelo computador e usar o link que está aparecendo aqui. Agora, vamos para os gringos. You're going to see 10 food items that are either a very well-known Brazilian dish Or a very well-known dish from another country, like locally well-known. Like anyone from that country would be like, I know what that is. Like hamburger and french fries, Thanksgiving turkey. And your job basically is just to try to reason through whether they're Brazilian or not. This looks like a couscous of some sort. It looks like it's ground up corn with other stuff in it. So that looks like the batter you dip catfish in before you fry it. In my gut, you ever feel something in your gut and you just know, and I just know this is yeah. not Brazilian. <laughs> If I eat too much of this, I have feeling in my gut. See, I want to say that's either South American or Caribbean in somewhere. So I'm going to default to, yeah, that's Brazilian. I want to say it is Brazilian because I feel like you want to throw me off with this. Venezuelan? I'm going to say it's not. I don't think it is. This is farofa. Uh, which is a uh, toasted manioc or cassava or yuca flour, depending on what translation you use. And often it'll have little bits of other stuff in it to sort of make it tasty. It's delicious. It's usually like a side dish. It looks like a, uh, a type of uh, paella, maybe. There's a lot of rice. I can't tell what that is. Is that like pita around it? Some sort of breaded chip or something a rice dish with um like peas and flatbread I saw a picture earlier of white rice not this type of rice i'm saying this is no go not brazil here correct i am the smartest man alive i'm gonna say though that's not brazilian i'm gonna guess that this is not brazilian i'm gonna say not brazilian not brazilian this is a persian dish called lubia polo which i'm sure i'm pronouncing very badly flatbread rice and i think it's either beef or lamb is used and it looks i love iranian food <laughs> Ooh, oh my god, this looks so good. What is this? Like roasted beef? I'm not even 100% sure of what this is. Some sort of grilled meat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it is grilled meat. Ah, uh, you know what though? I feel like Brazilians are very creative. This is just a, it's a little one note. It's just meat and flames. Yeah, I get this at every cherry scura I go to in the United States. Because I Good use move. my little button that says, yes, please cut that off and put that on my plate. That is Brazilian. It's like a kebab? No, it's a kebab. It's not Brazilian, is it? No, they do kebabs. Is it an Argentinian dish? Like an Argentine steakhouse dish? This is not Brazilian. This looks like something I would have seen in a, in a churrascara in New York City. So I'm going to say Brazil. <laughs> yes, indeed. This is picanha. It's a very specific Brazilian butcher cut. Looks good. You really wouldn't find anywhere else. And they slice it off. And of course, it's like slightly charred on the outside and it's got that layer of fat. And then on the inside, it's oh, yeah. often like, you know, medium rare or something. So delicious. Looks very good. Growing up and being raised in a, a born and raised and growing up in a state that's known for its beef industry. I respect Brazil and their and their beef.
we've got rice, we've got crispies, and we got some kind of meat and something that looks like some kind of cream-based sauce. Mm -hmm. Looks like rice, some sort of stringed potatoes, and some sort of meat dish and a creamy sauce. I think those are like little potatoes. You guys always put cool potato stuff on hot dogs. So I'm saying this one's Brazilian because that looks very starch-tastic, baby. You, you guys are getting too smart for your own good. <laughs> you remember what happened. I wish you would just forget what you ha learned before. This looks like chicken tikka masala with a side of those, like, really, the, the papas, the, like, really skinny papas fries that are Brazilian. I, because of that, I'm going to guess this is Brazilian because of that side dish of the little... The very little good. Potato Very things. good. Your, okay. The potato sticks. You apparently you remember what you've learned. I'm gonna say not Brazilian. It looks like it's something I've eaten before, and I don't think it's Brazilian. Interestingly enough, it is both Brazilian and not because it is the Brazilian take on another dish from another country. This is what Brazilians call stroganoff. That's what I was gonna say. Beef stroganoff is what it kind of looked like. The next one looks like the worst Danish I've ever seen. <laughs> this looks like a sandwich. That's an interesting looking sandwich. Is it a sandwich? Is it? A good question. It's a piece of bread with like, it kind of looks like a chowder bowl, but yes. like a beef, a beef bowl. This looks like some of, uh, is that like hollowed out bread? <laughs> is that what yes. it is? It's some sort of like chili salsa thing in it it could be brazilian you know what i haven't I, I don't know do brazilians like salad i don't really know but i'm saying that dish is too colorful from the last one that is not brazilian <laughs> at all because we like our yellow yellow and green ones i feel like that's definitely brazilian it is definitely south african it is called... oh, i'm definitely wrong i will say that based on the garnish that it is it is not brazilian not brazilian it's... yes correct it's like stewed beef inside a dugout chunk of bread it's almost like a bread bowl kind of a thing <laughs> We got potatoes mixed with veggies, so there's to uh, potatoes, there's tomatoes, there's greens, and that looks like rice with a mint on top. Oh, this is this is like an upscale restaurant dish, I feel like. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It's like a stir fry with a side of rice, but there are potatoes in it. Yes, that's Who the key. Who puts potatoes in their stir fry? Exactly. So it's Brazilian, <laughs> no? You Who tell me, I'm not gonna put words in your mouth. That looks like uh, some sort of kebab, some sort of uh, like some, uh, that looks like something I would get at, at the Afghani place up the street. Yes, no, no. I'm gonna say, yeah, this is Brazilian, just out of the rhythm. I feel like that plate speaks to me in a way that says Brazil. Color, but not too much color, but it, it looks nice. I'm saying that's Brazil, a nice upscale well, restaurant. Like at this point, I wouldn't hold it against Brazilians to put potatoes next to their rice and everything. So I'm going to go with that. Very, being Brazilian. very good reasoning. <laughs> very good reasoning. Brazilians do often combine starches. So you'll often see a plate with like um, rice, pasta, and bread at the same plate. Uh, this is Peruvian. Oh. And it's a, a dish that you can get in any Peruvian restaurant in the U.S. called lomo saltado, which lomo is saltado. like, so, it basically just means sautéed beef. But the thing that is the key there is it's got French fries in it. They, they actually made them into sort of more potato-y here. But right. often you'll just like see like actual French fries mixed in. But the other thing is I would just like to say, like, I don't see why rice is necessary on this plate. I don't either. You're good with all the veg. You're just adding too yeah. much starch. You get the rice and the potatoes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like somewhat starch. influenced by the Chinese Peruvians because you know the, Peru the Peruvians have Chinese and Japanese immigrants as well. I did not know that. I do not know a lot about Peru. It looks like we've got like this breaded deep fried bun and then on that we have shrimp that still have the tails on them, some cucumber and maybe like a scrambled egg combo. That looks like a shrimp and egg sandwich with cucumber on it. Looks like sort of what we would call in Louisiana, Texas range, mm. uh, a shrimp po' boy, a sandwich. It looks like hamburger, those look like shrimp, some veggies. Brazil. So I want to say it's not Brazilian because it's not flat and grilled on the stove in our little spatula grill thing, but I feel like you're tricking me. I think that one's Brazilian. I'm gonna say not Brazilian. I honestly kind of would guess that this is from like Korea. It's gotta be Brazilian, like some sort of Brazilian. It almost looks a little street foodie. 
Yes. Yeah. Stop right there before you say anything wrong. It is called Acarajé. It's mm -hmm. uh, uh, from Bahia, which is the sort of a northeastern state of Brazil. And it's usually considered an Afro-Brazilian food. So it's delicious. It's shrimp and this sort of creamy sauce, usually spicy. I want it now. So the next one looks like uh, what we call in Texas tamales. Mm. Ooh! Oh, what is this? It's like it's a corn-based. It looks like oh, what is an empanada kind of? The squish Twinkie. That <laughs> actually looks a lot like arepa, which I believe is Venezuela. All right, I feel like I know what this is, but I can't verbalize it. <laughs> that is not traditionally from where I'm from Brazilian, but the cream has thrown me off. Uh, I'm gonna say not Brazilian. I think this one is correct. It is pamonia. Oh my god, the a, pressure right there. It is a corn uh, cooked in a, wrapped up in a husk and cooked uh -huh. kind of a little bit tamale-esque. That's know. the word I was looking for the whole time. Tamale. Cake or some mm -hmm. kind of like cookie treat. Oh, that looks so good. What is this like a strawberry or raspberry white cake to yeah. Dessert. Yeah. This is looks some sort of jelly filled dessert. If I were from Brazil, I would think I would use jam in my desserts. So even though it goes against my better judgment to guess Brazil again, I'm gonna guess Brazil again. You've got the right hemisphere. It's from the southern oh. hemisphere. It's <laughs> Australian. Oh, the land of kangaroos. I'm gonna say not Brazilian. I'll say it's Brazilian. It looks freaking delicious. And I think that comes from somewhere in the Eurasia area. The Eurasia area being like two thirds of the world. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere between Paris and Mongolia. Yeah, somewhere uh, yeah. between like uh, Dublin and uh, Tokyo. Well, ama amazingly, depending on how you define that, you're right, it's Australian. It's called a lamington and it's like a, a cake that your mom makes little little they're little individual cakes i think it looks like some kind of egg thing with tomato and i'm praying that's avocado but i don't think it is i actually think that's all fruit like orange and watermelon and melon and cream cheese and mm -hmm. Onions, it looks delicious. This next thing looks amazing. It's like a mango sandwich. I'm trying to figure out what this is even made of, and I don't know. A potato pie. This looks Brazilian, just the color scheme. Like, I don't even know if this is a Brazilian food. This might be a Brazilian soccer uniform. A Bra <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna rephrase that so that Brazilians won't get angry at me for you. This might not even be a Brazilian food. This looks like a Brazilian football uniform. Is that better? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm gonna say yeah. That's Brazilian, and I want to eat it. You know what? This is Brazilian too. I'll go with Brazil. This time it's Peruvian. Uh, it is Peruvian. Dang it. And it is uh, Peru layer. It's uh, called a causa rellena, which is also uh, in English usually translated as a layered potato casserole. Edit that last part out and say I got it right and we just, just lost the video. <laughs>